by losing two of the screws okay taking out two of the screws taking out these two screws this is what we have successfully done we have successfully detached this from this and we can further detach by taking this out so this is what we have we have previously posted many videos on how to service your carburetors whether it is carburetor for four stroke engine like the lawn mowers or for two stroke engine like the chainsaws we've uploaded video that will basically teach you how to service carburetors of those engines for one particular tutorial or video we haven't uploaded yet on our channel is a video that teaches you how to service dual carburetors by dual carburetors i mean those carburetors that uses both petrol and gas on this particular video if you watch to the end you will know how to service your dual carburetors properly like a seasoned technician yeah, i was supposed to do this particular one at my shop but since we're shooting the video i just thought i should do it to you guys this was a capital that was gotten from us i think a month now i think over a month ago over a month ago yes over a month ago and so this person got the carburetor and it worked fine it worked fine using using the carburetor on gas it worked very very well but something happened the guy switched to the person switched to petrol at one point when the gas finished and then that was where the issue started apparently the tank was so dirty that those deaths find their way through to the carburetor why did i say so because the brief the guy gave to us was this he said on gas initially the generator was working very fine so eventually he switched to petrol and initially the generator worked very fine with petrol but after some time he found out that the generator started fluctuating going up and down you know that kind of fluctuating sound if you are a user of generator you should know this so i guess death found its way from the tank to the carburetor and that was why the carburetor started having those issues so that is what i think but i'm going to put this carburetor into this particular generator this generator is in our studio it's all for sale guys it's all for sale it's a solid generator if you want to purchase it for 180,000, you get this beautiful generator all right that by the way so i'm going to input this carburetor into this generator okay to see how it works and uh, if it's same with what the guy told us already so let's go guys i will quickly rush this no much explanation on this i believe you guys will know it already So let me insert this uh, client's carburetor and test run it and see what exactly it looks like. So I will let for go inside this gen into this carburetor rather and then I'll kick start it to I just want to have a first hand idea of what the carburetor does, how the carburetor works with the generator. At least that 
it will basically guide me on how to repair the generator, repair the carburetor. Hello guys, <laughs> my people. Guess what? Remember that brief I gave to you guys? It turned out the carburetor worked well with this generator, so I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fix this carburetor because I can't find any fault. Originally, if a carburetor is bad, when I put it into another uh, generator, it still shows the same sign. The reason for putting to another generator is basically to give me a good idea of what I will be doing. So I don't work with what the client has said. But on this note, the carburetor is working very, very, very fine. Did you guys listen to the sound? It steamed properly. There was no fluctuation whatsoever. So I think I will have to send this video to the client as well. So the client, in fact, knows the generator, the carburetor it got from us is still working fine. Contrary to reports it gave us that it worked at one point, then stopped when it switched to foil. Okay, so I will have to send this to him. It's very possible if the generator is a little bit faulty. And one of the reasons that could happen now, knowing fully where that this carburetor is working fine, is that the gasket of that generator would be bad. By the gasket, I mean, I mean this gasket here. There's a gasket between this rubber and this, uh, okay, I'll call it a stopper. There's a right term for it. I can't get access to the right term now. So I will just call it a stopper. So it is possible the gasket here is bad. That is one reason why the generator would float with, with this good carburetor, because this carburetor is good. Another thing that could make the carburetor not work well is this stopper. Okay, this stopper basically is to add as a block, not to collect air. This, this is the stopper right here. This is the stopper right here. This is the stopper. Okay, for some generators, if that stopper is bad, it will take in air, external air. And the reason we have this stopper and this gasket is to block air from entering into the carburetor, apart from this other place. Okay, this is the only place that is verified that air is allowed to enter this carburetor so but if it enters through any other place it will float with the generator will float with. so i have it on strong ground so the reason the generator there is not working is because this gasket is not properly fixed or it's not available at all or this stopper it's bad so guys i i didn't know it would turn out this way In, initially deep down in my heart i was already happy I have a content to teach you guys how to service a generator carburetor, uh, a gas carburetor rather, because I know I've posted other videos on how to service a generator carburetor already. So, but it turned out not today. So I'm just hoping that someone somewhere will tell me the carburetor of their generator is bad, gas carburetor is bad, so that I will service it and you guys have an idea of how to service it but because you have watched to this particular point of this video i'm going to, I'm going to lose this carburetor out okay i'll lose this carburetor out then i'll teach you guys basically how to service it even though i'm not going to service it i'll just guide you on how to service it so when your generator have issues like this just like i've explained you'll be able to service it that's nice right so instead of watching this video to this particular point in time, this particular point, and just get disappointed. So I will help you guys. So let's go. I will lose this out now and just guide you on how to service it yourself. Okay, guys. Um, when you are faced with something like this, 
what do you do? When you want to service a carburetor, a gas carburetor specifically, the first thing to do is to see how this chamber is attached to the main carburetor. Okay? You know, for regular carburetors, what it only has is this, right? It has this cone and the venturion. Okay? But for a gas carburetor, or a dual carburetor rather, it has this chamber, which is responsible for taking gas from your cylinder. And then this end, this carburetor, the main carburetor itself, uh, responsible for the distribution of both gas and fuel into your engine. Okay? So you see how it's connected. How is it connected? And after knowing how it's connected, you will find a way of detaching it. So first thing first, we know it is connected. This is connected to this because of these four screws. Okay? So what do we do now? We find a way of detaching this from this by losing two of the screws. Okay? Taking out two of the screws. The, taking out these two screws, this is what we have successfully done. We have successfully detached this from this, and we can further detach by taking this out. So this is what we have. Okay, this is what we have. This is out. This chamber is out, and we have the main carburetor. This carburetor is no different from your regular carburetors. If you have watched videos on this channel before now, you would know your regular carburetors and how it looks like and how it functions too. So this carburetor is no different. So after this, of course, we now have the regular carburetor and this is what we are going to service. So just like our client has said that the generator fluctuates, just assume the generator fluctuates. We've assumed the generator fluctuates and we have assumed the carburetor is erasing the generator fluctuates. What we do next is this. We'll take this off. Okay? we we'll take this off. Isn't this exactly what you will find in your regular carburetors? Just because I'm here, let me just quickly clean this up a little, even though it doesn't matter now. Isn't this exactly what you will find in your regular carburetors? So guys, if you really want to understand how to service this, wash it carefully. We have a video we've done as regards how to wash or how to service a carburetor like this. But this one is working very well, so it is not wise to lose it and start um, servicing it, okay? So if you really want to understand how to do it, the best thing to do is to watch this video at the top of your screen right now. It, that video don't teach you how to detach this, but what it will teach you is how to properly service your carburetor, especially when you've gotten to this particular point. Okay, guys, that is it from us for this particular video. We appreciate you guys for staying till this very end. We love you guys as well. If you are new to this channel, please, guys, do well to subscribe, like, and share. Send this to your friends and family. They may be in the need of this video, and you will be a lifesaver if you share this to them. Um, one more thing, guys. We are looking at creating a very expansive small engine repair course. This course is going to teach you basically how to service, maintain, troubleshoot, repair your small engine, ranging from your lawnmower house to your portable generator. Just name it. Just name it. Any small engine you know that uses petrol. This course is going to teach you. We are looking at this course in the mode of a mini um, diploma. We believe that at the end of uh, taking the tutorials on the course, you would be a small engine uh, expert. We'll teach you everything you need to know from repairs, even down to opening your own firm as a generator or a small engine uh, repair business person. So guys, till we meet in our next class, it's goodbye from us. Take care. We love you.